Now this is what I want everybody to do for me. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is what I want everybody in the building to do. I feel a Shabbat praise in the building. We just need to go and holler and get it out. And fill the atmosphere with praise. The enemy can't stand it when you shout out unto God. That's the word. Shout out unto God with the voice of triumph. Are y'all ready to let go in the place? One, two, three, let's Shabbat God. But I just got one, excuse me, excuse me. I got one thing to show y'all. I just, I just want y'all to see one thing. Shatira, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can you show me how somebody dances when God heals them from a brain tumor? <laughs> service. I know you all came for singing in the concert. I'm trying to move on with the service. And Sister Sam was talking. I told her you all just don't understand. 
God's been too good. <laughs> when there was no way, God made a way. And we shout and we scream and we holler. And, and you see the sister in the white that was, he, the sister in the white that was running back and forth and screaming and hollering like she lost her mind. Well, that's probably because she did lose her mind. Praising God. Yesterday she was robbed at gunpoint. when we find out who really loves the Lord, who really appreciates Him by the lifting of your hands and surrender to God and just praise Him for who and what He is in your life and for what He's done. The Lord's name is worthy to be praised. Come on, let's just worship the Lord. Lift them, lift them high.
hands and praise the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. It's hard to sing that song because it bubbles up on the inside. When you really think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for you. How many of you, anybody here, the Lord's done something for you? I'm not talking 10 years ago. I'm not even talking about yesterday. I'm talking about today. I'm talking about two hours ago. Ah, I'm talking about right now. He's doing something. Ricky and Abraham said, the Lord is blessing me. Right now. If you believe it, put your hands together. Come on. I'm blessed and I know I'm blessed. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Sister Donisha, come on up here tonight. She didn't have a uniform, but that's all. We can make the devil out of life. In my time of need, how many of you ever had a need in your life? I mean, your back was up against the wall. <laughs> but in your time of need, I'm not talking about something that you wanted. I'm talking about a need. When they was getting ready to cut your pg and &E off, that's a need. When they was getting ready to cut your water off, that's a need. Hallelujah. When, a when the devil was coming to steal, kill, and destroy you, that's a need. Uh-huh. Yeah, you've been there. We've all been there. Amen. On tonight, Jesus was there when we called him in our time of need. Amen. Brother L.J. Holman is the composer of this song. Amen. Thank God for it. Appreciate him on tonight. All of our musicians, we thank God for them. Amen. They're a bunch of great musicians. Amen. We ought to appreciate and acknowledge our own. Amen. We thank God for L.J. Bumper, Aaron, all our musicians. Amen. We thank God for you and appreciate you. Amen. Everybody, let's give a go out to one more hand praise. Come on. You will see. 
see me through You were there when I called you In my time of need Now I'm calling on you And I know that you will see me through
Some of them can't call him. Master, Savior, Deliverer, Jesus. How many of you know he's King of Kings and Lord of Lords in your life? We want to send a message out to someone tonight. I feel you in the place. I feel your spirit. Amen. And the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. I feel ministry now. Amen. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And uh, the scripture says God comes that you might have life and have it what? There's somebody in here that feels like giving up. Feel like you come to the end of the road. I want to encourage you on tonight and let you know that life is not over. You see, you never know what somebody's going through or what the devil's taking them through. Amen. On tonight, the Lord wants to encourage your heart and let you know that life is not over and that he has a work for you to do. There's ministry that lies inside of you. In every ministry, let me let me make this clear, is not behind the podium. Amen. Everybody has not been called to preach behind the podium, but to preach and spread the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Everybody has been commissioned to do that. And tonight, life is not over. And God is not through <laughs> with you yet. Amen. You're going through now. But tests and trials come to make you strong. That's where your faith and your trust in God kicks in. Now. How many of you believe that on tonight? Let's encourage that soul. Let's put our hands together and just encourage them on tonight. Life is not over. I'm not done with you yet. You have so much to do. There are souls to be brought by you. Life is not over. No, 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 no.
cut all of us off. He desires to do that on tonight. Amen. But God has a protection around us. Amen. A hedge of protection. And every time the enemy tries to throw darts at us, there's that shield that protects us. That's enough to run around this building on tonight. Because some of y'all have been in some stuff. Amen. Amen. And, and you're not finished going through. So be encouraged and know that life is not over. <laughs> and everything is going to be all right. Amen. And on tonight, we have a reason that we praise God. And we love him so much because we know that he's not dead. He's alive. Buddha's dead. Muhammad is dead. Your car may have died out on you. Your house no, may not have been paid. They evicted you. That may have been your God. But on tonight, Jesus Christ reigns. And he lives. How many of you know he lives inside of you? Uh-huh. And to know that he's up there, it's just good enough to know that whatever you're going through, he can bring you out of it. He's up there. Look at somebody and say, he is up there. The scientists say that he's still in a borrowed tomb. But if you go and check the tomb, he's not there. Amen. The Lord is up there. And we want to encourage you all to die. <laughs> Amen. This is all part of ministry. Is that all right? Amen. The Lord is up there. Amen. Let's clap our hands for Revelations. He's up there. <laughs> 